Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got three little fun menu underline effects for you today. I've got a regular Divi menu. We're working with the default menu here. If I hover under, we've got a little animated underline there. Next one we got is a sort of animated dotted underline effect. If we go under these, we've got little animated dots there. And the third one, we've sort of got a gradient animation going on there. Really nice little effects to have on your site. I've pre-written all this CSS code for you, so all you need to do is copy and paste. So let's show you how it's done. Okay, well I've got my code here. I'm only got, I've only got one active at one time, but if I uncomment this top one, we'll start on this one. I'll show you what's going on. I've just got them commented out here. And if I comment this one out, to comment it out, it's just forward slash star. And at the end of the part you want to comment out, put star forward slash. Great, so we're working on this top one now. If I publish this code and just refresh this page, we've got our little animated underlines there. Now, settings, should you need to change them, if you want it further down the page, I've got it 20 pixels from the top here. You can adjust that by adjusting this value here. Let's put that to 30 pixels and that'll put it further down. I'll put it back where it was. To the left, it's starting right at the left hand side. If you want to move that across, you can do that here by putting a pixel value in. The width of it, it's stretching right now 100% of our A tag there or our link. Now remember, I'm working on the default menu which is dot nav if you've got a custom header you need to just inspect it and get the tag there i think the custom header is going to be et menu rather than nav there but check that out with your inspector okay the height of it is just two pixels i've got it two pixels wide up there you can make it bigger or smaller by putting a different value in there i'm happy with my two Background color, I've actually got it the blue of my logo there. Put whatever color you want yours to be in there. That's pretty much all you're gonna really want to change on that one. So there's our first one. That's a nice little underline effect there. If I now comment this one out, and we'll go down to our next one, which is the dashed line, little red dashed line. Let's get rid of these. And we'll publish that code and refresh the page once more. Now we've got our little dotted lines underneath. And they've got a little animation. They're going from sort of two picks to four picks in height. And again, that's a nice little eye catching animation to have on your site. If we roll down to the code, this one's called the dash line. Just copy the one that you want into your additional CSS. I'll put all this code down below as usual. And again, actually this time I've got it coming up from the bottom. So you can change the height of it again after bottom there, put in the pixel value you want. I'm happy with that though. Left again, it's starting from the left. It's going 100% of the width one more time. The height is two pixels initially, as you see it there before we hover. When we hover over it, if we look down at the bottom here, it's going to five picks and we've got the same color. It's dashed and it's red. I've just got the color in there as red. You can put in any hex RGBA color you want there. If you want to change the duration, at the moment it's sort of taking a third of a second to actually do the transformation. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, speed it up, make that a lower value. To slow it down, make it a higher value. So that's our second one there. And again, that's a nice little transition right there. And if you want to use this and modify it for yourself, 
just copy the dashed line all the way down to the bottom there I should have mentioned this the top one if you prefer the top one you want to use it use the animated line copy all the way down to here and I won't comment any of this out when I put it down below it'll all be there for you just copy the one you want great well, let's move on and we'll comment this one back out now and we'll move on to our gradient line there let's remove our comments great okay well our third one here let's publish that and we'll refresh the page one more time and there we have it there's our little gradient ones when we hover over they're going to sort of change color their little animation there and again that's a nice little feature and once more if I pull this code up it's 30 picks from the bottom if you want to drop it down make that a smaller value if you want it closer up make it a higher value it starts on the left it's a hundred percent of the width there the height is four pixels I've got it four pixels tall there there's the actual gradient you can change the colors in there by again I'm using my blue from my logo and a white there obviously put in whatever hex colors or RGBAs whatever you want to use there and the little effect there is our background side and and transition background position and it's taking a third of a second to go through that animation again if you want to slow that down or speed it up slow it down put a larger value in there speed it up put a smaller value in there and when we hover over it it's doing the background position of minus 100 percent so that's why it's coming over like that and there's some nice little animations so we've got three of them there for you this one's the gradient line like I say just copy this piece of code from the actual title up there that says gradient line to the closing curly bracket you'll find this down below and that's that one and this one is our just animated line here for that one that's the one at the top animated line just copy from the animated line all the way down to that closing bracket of the hover state there and don't forget I won't have any of these comments to comment this out down below just copy the one you want and what have we got over here and here's our dotted one and that's a nice little feature to have on your site too and our dotted one is right here or it's actually dashed I should say rather than dotted and again let's copy it from the title to the last closing bracket there paste it into your additional CSS panel that we've got here for anybody that doesn't know how to get to the additional CSS panel just go to your dashboard once at the dashboard you can go to appearance and customize that's going to take us to this page here right at the bottom you'll find the additional CSS panel as an alternative if you don't want to use the additional CSS if you go to your dashboard you can go down to Divi to theme options under the general tab if we roll all the way down to the bottom we've got a custom CSS panel and you may notice we've already got this code in here as well so it's the same as the additional CSS panel that's entirely up to you where you actually want to put yours once you put it in here make sure you save your changes if you're using the additional CSS panel make sure you hit publish once you put it in there if I change something here you'll see that turns blue make sure you hit the publish and once it's published you should be good to go so there we go guys there's three little custom animations for you we got the dotted we got the animated line and we got the gradient there so help yourself to the code and enjoy I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them down below I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.